Robert's residence. Welcome home, Sydney. You're a survivor, aren't you, Sydney? What good's it to be a survivor if everyone close to you is dead? You can't save them. All you can do is watch. <laughs> you know, it's funny. <laughs> One of the only things in Scream 4 I thought that wasn't in the other films is that Nick Cave's Red Right Hand song wasn't in it. You know, it was in all three of the other movies. Oh, was it? Like, oh, we're was like, wow, it? where's that Nick Cave song? Yeah. Everything else, though, you know, they're like, oh, it's a scream for a new generation. It's like, well, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like they're acting just like like the, the old generation. Yeah. I'm still going, who the fuck is Nick Cave? But I mean, it's, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, I never That's paid okay. attention. Yeah, I guess, I guess you know the song. If, if I, okay, yeah, if I heard it, probably I'm sure it's you on would. one of the Scream CDs where it says the theme song. to <laughs> well, no, scream. It's, it's it like, is. It's considered to be the theme song. Oh scream. God, are you oh. serious? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I never noticed that. Yeah, it's played very yeah. prominently. And you shouldn't <laughs> notice that if you're a decent human being. <laughs> why would that make? Or any even a decent to... robot like myself? Man. Why would not knowing you, Nick Cave, is make you a decent human being? It just all right, well, he, 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 he made the proposal, right? A, a proposition. The proposition. Yeah, which is a great movie. Yeah, yeah. So shut up, Coos. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah. well, we're not talking about obscure uh, Australian music. We're talking about Scream Four, which is the latest entry. In um, well, the the Screamiverse, the, the Screamiverse <laughs> yes. by Kevin Williamson, who is the guy who probably more than anybody brought the word meta to the attention of the world, which means basically something that refers to itself or is kind of self aware, yeah, yeah self aware, and, and... and with a lack of other stories to obviously he hasn't been watching horror between then mm-hmm. and now, even though the movie's touted as being like, mm-hmm. oh, now we're new horror, new yeah. set of rules, because all they do is make fun of the Scream movies, right? You know, it's like. Hey, that's, all they, that's all they can now, do. Now, to be yeah. fair, they make fun of Saw, too. A little. A little, a yeah. A tiny bit. But oh, Saw okay. doesn't have enough material. Saw kind of, at least for those films, those those movies are like comedies anyway. They, they yeah, mention maybe. Saw in passing, and that's about as much as they do. Well, it's how much? Like, well, this isn't scary movie for well, no, but, yeah. five. But the point is, the original films, the appeal was that it, it was for film buffs who understood horror, said these are the things you can do, mm-hmm. these are the things you can't do, here's what happened when you do this in the horror film. Yeah. And yeah. this new film acts as if it's going yeah. to do that with all the things that have right. changed in horror since then. And it, it it barely yeah. touched. It, oh, I it, think it this was, movie is for somebody like me who hasn't who hasn't really watched a scary movie. Oh hell no! Since since, <laughs> <laughs> since Scream two. Hell no 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 that that original that okay when Scream came out that movie was like wow somebody made a movie that I would actually I, that is honestly catered towards me like all any of that trivia I knew all that shit and I'm just going okay you're gonna die because you don't know this shit but the thing is is that after that movie it's like they made that. When they made Scream, it was like, okay, wow, somebody who's a fan that knows their shit, they 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 actually resurrected a slasher film by just kind of like poking at it, right? And I and I love that. But after that, so many movies tried to do that, and they're still doing it. TV shows do it to where I'm just like, I'm at the point where I'm just like, okay, I just don't care anymore. I, I thought I thought I was cool for knowing this shit. Now it seems like. Everyone needs to know this shit to be somebody like me, and I hate that. <laughs> I lost my individuality after that fucking movie. Right? It's, it's like, okay, I like it when something is occasionally self-aware. A little in-joke, a poke, a mm-hmm. wink, a nod at the audience, great. Mm-hmm. But the Scream films, it's like the writer Kevin Williamson, who's like I said, this is how he got made his entire career, mm-hmm. because certainly nothing else he's done has been any good. Uh, oh, you didn't like Dawson's What about Dawson? <laughs> no. What about Vampire no, Diaries, Dawson, dude? Dawson's that shit is good. Launch the, the, the WB, <laughs> now the CW. Are yeah. you a fan? <laughs> hey, I ain't talking about me. We're talking about you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Without, Don't make me hey, into hey, the Hey, you know what? Without, without Dawson, there would have been a no Pacey and then no Fringe. Yeah? Yeah, exactly. Think about that, why, my friend. Why is that true? Because I said so. Jackson was. He'd be still working at a car wash. They get some other actor. Who wouldn't give you the same chemistry that you got now? No, All that character. Character is right now is Pacey in, in working for X Files. That's all that is. We're yeah. not talking about French. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what we are talking about is Scream Four once again. Even though we already talked about it, that was just us yes, listening did. to Corey worry that someone's feelings might get hurt. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, just, and the thing about this movie, what, yeah. I, what I felt about this movie was. See, what you got to understand is, it's like, dude, say it already. Just say how you felt about it. You know, but what I was trying to say is this film is so meta that that's all it's concerned about is talking about meta and referencing. And it's like, uh, you know, it's not that it's not funny because it's funny several times. It has its moments. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely has its moments. And it's not like it's not paced well. I mean, it moves pretty briskly all it the does. way through. But mm. 
there's just no real plot to speak of. I mean, even when you finally get to who did it, you're just kind of like, okay, scream, whatever. Well, you know what? <laughs> no, damn. It's just so goddamn silly. You're like, all right, all right. It, 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 I mean, you, uh, well, well, it's, well, I was going to say, I mean, something Corey said that I agree with is that it kept me on my toes try, as far as trying to figure out who it was, although it really came down to like maybe four suspects throughout mm-hmm. most of it and then suddenly it went like no 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 here it is and the here it is is it was one of those like what really you guys i mean really i guess really? you know the way these movies go you get to do that i've, I've seen things that were worse mm-hmm. but wow this is well all the, right. thing, the thing is though is like despite that ending it did make a lot more sense as far as a sequel should go, as opposed to what they did in two, and I, I, I'll only just say two. I never saw three. Never had any desire to. I, I'm, you know I, what? I'm right I, there with I, you. Yeah. I, I, when I saw two, I didn't really, I didn't like two. I, 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 was, I didn't I care for like, it either. Okay, I thought they were really the same, trying, except yeah. less, and it's just it's very sequely. It suffered it, from sequelitis. Yeah, well, the, really, I, I liked, every sense of the word. I liked yeah. two because I thought it was funny, but um, I agree with you that the solution was pretty lame mm-hmm. to it. Yeah. Believe me, three is as much. Yeah, it, 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 it made no, it made no yeah. sense. I mean, it really made no well, sense. This, but which is why this I appreciate one this. Is one. like the whole reason the people, who, the person who did it, is the person who did it, is because it fits into their whole concept of like this film is really just about the comedy and the meta of the whole. Sure. Uh, and which is fine. I mean, I guess that's appropriate. But once again, when you actually take all the jokes out and you take all the referencing out and you take mm-hmm. all the self-aware out, what you have is a story that makes almost no sense at all around characters who are for some reason in this movie. What you've got is uh, it's the 15th anniversary of the Woodsboro Massacre, the original killings in the first Scream film. So what a great time to come back to town if you're <laughs> Nev Campbell or Sidney Prescott. Perfect yes, time like, to film a movie. Who's been stalked in all three. He comes back to town only to see, like, you know, Ghostface, the killer shit, all over the town. Well, I I love that she's there for a book signing that's all – it's her version of I'm not Spock. Yeah. Which is saying, like, hey, I'm I'm more than just the girl who mm -hmm. got almost killed. Yet I'm going back to the town where I almost got killed yeah, to yeah, celebrate yeah. this. That that and just the fact that it's like referring to itself. It did kind of remind me of uh, Wes Craven's uh, A New Nightmare. Yeah, where all of a sudden Freddy Krueger was everywhere. Like they 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 uh, let you know that Freddy Krueger is this pop icon because it was set in our world, I guess. Yeah, and uh, referring to the films, but uh, I it, it, I thought it was kind of neat that he's still playing on that whole like everyone knows that this scream thing is a phenomenon. Well, that's the it, thing is that's what I'm saying. This is what this movie. It's not talking about modern horror it's mm-hmm. talking about the fictional horror within the scream universe right. mm-hmm. because there have been seven stab movies which is the <laughs> scream version of, of, of the, you know the, the adaptations of reporter uh, uh what's her name gail um, weathers gail weathers played by courtney cox of her book about the original woodsboro murders mm-hmm. they've adapted into a series which now at this point apparently involves time travel and all Wait, sorts and, of stuff. woodsboro the place that has the the god hakes fags people uh, i don't is it I, no, I, no i, I try to i try to black them no, out maybe it is yeah yeah. <laughs> uh, so, it, yeah, you're right. She's promoting, I am not a victim by showing up to where she's a victim. And it's like 10 seconds before someone dies by ghost face killing. Wouldn't you just leave? Well, no, no, that no, no, that's the thing I, I thought too, but they were quickly like, well, you're sort of like a suspect, so you mm-hmm. can't leave. There, There mm-hmm. is such a thing as extenuating circumstances. <laughs> and I think that, especially since she, everyone saw where she was when the killing happened, yeah. it's like, you're not really a suspect. You're just involved in the case. Well, well Cyrus, so. look, look at this. It's something it, everybody needs to know. Mm-hmm. If you have a cell phone, say so you stop paying for your service every cell phone whether you have service on it or not can still dial 911 yeah which nobody in this movie seemed to know no, well they know mm-hmm. nothing about cell phones yeah no. yeah I, now, the only way i could excuse this by the end of it was like okay if you lived in west uh westboro is that it, I, i'm getting yeah. confused now well, and woodsboro, woodsboro, woodsboro and you dialed 911 um, good luck since David Arquette is your sheriff yeah. and this is the most incompetent police force in the entire universe yeah. that's the only thing in the movie that really had me banging my head it's yeah. like man wh- what the fuck are you guys doing it's just, I'm, I'm they must play foosball all day yeah I was like I was waiting for the, the cop from fucking The Simpsons the fucking yeah, yeah. he's fucking running the police tomorrow it's good work boys and they find nothing yeah. exactly because he, it's a tiny small little town that nothing ever happens in except for anytime Sidney Prescott comes to to town, <laughs> in which case 
people start dying Just left saying. and right. I, if, you know, if five people got murdered within a two-day period, I'm pretty sure the feds would step in. Immediately. Mm-hmm. But yeah. no, yeah. it's only the six or so cops in this town. Yeah. <laughs> There's like, they've gotten repeated phone calls uh, mm-hmm. from the killer saying, I'm coming after you. Not just Sydney, but her niece, played by Emma Roberts. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, not her niece, her cousin. Her, her Emma, good. Jill, played yeah. by Emma Roberts. Yeah. And her it, group of friends, like Hayden Pantier is one of her group of friends. Yeah. Two of you got phone calls? Yeah, us two. What's your favorite scary movie? It was the killer's voice. From Stab? Or, I mean, you know, from your life. I'm Kirby, by the way. I'm their friend. And the killer didn't call you? No. Is, is that a bad thing? Does that mean that I'm not going to live as long as these two? No. Maybe. Of course not. Just, uh, just be careful. Oh my God! Did you hear that? I'm gonna be next. There's a mm-hmm. group of movie buff horror movie buffs, of course. Yeah, some movie Jamie, dorks. Since Jamie yeah. Kennedy's dead, you right. bring him back. Yeah. You gotta yeah. have the. And, and, and we have now, to have that. Movie. It's, it's movie dorks 2.0 who are all tied into Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, yeah. well, so they and, walk and, around and, with a webcam yeah. tied to their heads to film for their yeah. their webcast show. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm like, I, yeah. they ain't no streaming web show that I watch all the time. So but, I don't know what these yeah. kids are doing. But not only that, they're into shitty movies too. Because I was looking at all those movie <laughs> posters that they had in that room. I'm like, what the fuck? Wolf Creek? Really? <laughs> you know, it's funny. There are all these threats and kids are dying in this neighborhood in front of people. You know, people are, I mean... And what do they do? There's two cops sitting out front of the house after that. You're like, really? Yeah. They just they just like ev- eviscerated a girl across the street. This guy and and they're like, we'll just send Anthony Anderson and some fucking tiny little dude out there to sit out there. They're doing everything but smoking yeah. pot in the cop car, yeah. which is funny because chicken out the window. Which you know? actually, I thought that scene was hilarious only because it's like. You know we're next, dude. You're right? it's like they kept looking at each other, going, "You know we're fucked, right?" I mean, you know what? I, I, nah, it, no, we're not. Yeah, as, yeah, we as much as like you know, I'm sitting here pointing out all the the things that are wrong that mm-hmm. it won't make sense in a movie. Mm-hmm. I really did enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not somebody who likes horror movies. I had a, I had fun with this, mm-hmm. and you know the uh, the killings were in, inventive, and it had those funny moments. It's probably those mm-hmm. that that helped it along the most. I will say. Something it did a lot was like take that moment you're talking about with the two mm-hmm. cops talking about well you know we're next you go in the mm-hmm. house this mm-hmm. or or if you're retired or, you know bring up those cliches are mm-hmm. funny, but there's it would have something where that whole scene would end as a killing and then they'd la- they they put on that last joke that fuck Bruce Willis yeah. and I was like you know what that was too much yeah, yeah like it, it didn't need it I yeah. thought this movie did that a lot though no that's what I'm saying I'm saying it's not that one time it's like okay. like my, my yeah. disappointment with the movie was right. how often it would do that yeah, yeah, it was, it, I it was that, that one thing too much it's like, well God, it was more it important to the director and uh, Wes Craven to be able to <clears> do more of that type of humor than it was to actually make it believable on any level yeah and I think that's the weakest thing about Scream 4 is that they're so important for them to make it the like like a comedy in that level yeah. mm-hmm. and I, I don't think it succeeds 100% either like I said it doesn't get into yeah. modern day rules or anything but that being said you're right it is it's got some good killings in it I mean that are brutal you're oh, like, yeah. that was one of the great things about the Scream movies like when Ghostface killed it was nasty you were like damn you feel that crunch no like, you got you get into it, you, yeah. it is, which is something you want to see in a slasher film because I mean even when that, even when Scream came out, I was like, "Wow!" It seems like, especially after the years that went by, you're like, "Man, Scream is probably going to be the last time you're ever going to see like a real iconic slasher." Even though I was never that huge of a fan of this whole Ghostface character, right. only because. With with my slasher films, I like some somewhat of a mythology, just because right. it's something I can follow. With this, it's more like a Scooby Doo type yes, deal, like where a you made up mythology. A made up mythology. It's you a, don't know who's it's gonna. It's a different type of mythology yeah. because those other films, they're always the same killer. Right. Here, it's always someone different underneath right. the mask every time. With, so you can't really have yeah. the exact same. Which the problem with that is wondering if their motives are going to be worth the shit enough to yeah. to make you even care at the end. You're right. You know where with this, I'm like, well, you know what. This played out a lot better than two, and I'm sure more than three did. Because I mean, honestly, I had so much fun really watching this movie because I was there just really, really ready to judge it. And uh, everything that I thought would go wrong, it really did it. You know, besides some of the some of the jokes, which I get. You know, after you you have uh, 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 the, all the all the parodies of this type of film, you know, you almost have to make your jokes a little bit better. So I think that a lot of that that's where it lies the problem of 
them just going a little too far with these jokes as yeah. far as they don't know when to just stop it. Yeah. Where I was like, at this moment, that would have been hilarious. Yeah. But you're still kind of dragging it on just to, I, I don't know, I don't, but you need to stop. Well, they don't know how to yeah. do that. They don't know how to draw characters of even mildly believable motivations. I mean, mm-hmm. plus, okay, like I said, there's a point where like, what, like eight people have been slaughtered mm-hmm. and the teenagers are sneaking out to go party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm sorry, I know teenagers yeah. are dumb, but uh-huh. they're also easily terrified. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I don't, I seriously think every last one of them would be be locked into their room hiding under <laughs> yeah. their bed. There's also a thing exactly. like, you know, in a school, like if a student were to commit suicide, a lot of schools might just close for the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here, they're getting slaughtered. Oh, yeah. And school's still in school's session. Yeah, <laughs> easily. Yeah, and that's, the, and that's the other thing, too, where I'm just like, man, is it really that hard to to write something clever enough to, to, make, to make this world make sense? As far as the movie gore, yeah. just is going like, okay, why are you sneaking out to go hang out with your buddies when there's somebody out there gunning to fucking kill you? You know, <laughs> what is the motivation? Why do you still need to bitch and moan about being a prisoner in your house? Well, there's a reason for that shithead because somebody's <laughs> yeah. trying to kill you. Well, but, you like know. I said, once again, Williamson's whole career post this has been like about him going, no, that was my thing. That was mm-hmm. my one thing. And he keeps coming back to it. Like I kind of brought Meta out. Mm-hmm. I brought Meta back from <laughs> yeah. someplace it had never been before. <laughs> and he just won't get up past that. It's like, I don't need to write an actual movie. I just need to write meta humor, mm-hmm. which, like I said, once again, is fine. It just could have been a lot better. Mm-hmm. I think that, um, uh, like, the ending only works because it's so preposterous and over the top that you're just laughing through it, going, okay, this is fucking funny. I got to admit, well, the I way mean, they handle it, but you and know where what, they yeah, go it, with it. I mean, it's that thing of, like, okay, I've watched all these other cast members get. Uh, brutalized, stabbed, and beat up. I guess it's only fitting that I should get beat over the head with the message that the movie's trying to deliver at the end yeah. of the you know yeah. the evils of yeah. of instant fame and social yeah. networks and mm-hmm. well, you the know, thing tabloid is, uh, journalism. Yeah. Like, okay, enough already. Which <laughs> makes you wonder why the guys who have the movie club, right? Which is like one of the big center things of the film. Like, oh, horror movies, we love them. Shouldn't it have been a club that were fans of the Jersey Shore or something like that. You know, yeah. I mean, to fit, it felt like the horror thing ultimately had nothing to do with anything. Really, mm-hmm. it was like, okay, really, this is about like um, uh, uh, Paris Hilton and people yeah. like that. You mm-hmm. know, but you know, it, it, it's something like that where I, I I bought into it. I really did. I was like, all right, I see that motivation and. It makes sense to me, um, but the thing is that you know, despite all that, despite it was still, uh, and I want to get this through, it was still a very enjoyable, fun, absolute movie, like something you'd want to see. And as far as a slasher movie, especially going to the midnight, the midnight showing I, I went to, which Corey was right, you know, if you're gonna see this, see it the right way yeah. at a midnight showing with a lot of people because people were fucking going ape shit crazy and. I was happy to walk out just knowing, like, man, I felt like a sense of satisfaction with that film that I didn't have with with part two. And the thing is, like, everyone in that theater was like, you know what? I was really dying. I heard it, like, from three or four different people. I was dying to to just, just wanting to have this movie be so good. And at least to me, it was. And that's, well, that's the way they were they actually were... dying. No, 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 no. That had to be an That would have been the screen. coolest <laughs> fucking movie moment of my entire life. <laughs> Those Alamo and I guys. have to figure it out. <laughs> Those Alamo guys go all out for real. <laughs> the experience. No, but... and then a special treat. Ten people from every screening <laughs> will be slaughtered in their seats. <laughs> no, man. But, you know, it, it, it is one of those things where it's like, you know, I wish, a, I wish some kind of slasher movie would come back in the forefront and actually just be good and actually deliver on what these movies can do, you know, because it's, it's kind of, it kind of shit, it kind of shit, it kind of sucks as I get older realizing like, wow, man, is that, that whole slasher craze, is that thing really over and it's done over. with? The best years I mean, really? You. I know, it's like, it's yeah, over, I, it's I don't want it to, I don't want it to end. I was like, man, somebody bring back, well, reboot fucking Nightmare on Elm Street again and try to get uh, it right. The problem you know? is that there's only so much you can do with the slasher genre. It's mm-hmm. a limited concept to begin with and they, I mean, come on, you've got to admit, even as a fan, mm-hmm. they drove it into the fucking ground. <laughs> they did, but hey, look at Scream. Like, you know, for the longest time, I was like, well, I guess that's it. And then Scream came along. You're like, wow, but I still think there's uh, never turn your back on slasher films, all right? Because they will fucking come back. I guarantee you, they oh, will come on. back. It'll they will. I'll, I'll, and by the way, on that note, I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give my, my rating. rating on this one. You know, I'm, I, I wish I could en- enjoy it as much as you guys did. I did enjoy it, but I didn't enjoy it in the sort of like, oh, you guys totally got to go see this. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's a film that just didn't try hard enough. And for a fourth entry in a film and something that amounts almost to a reboot, really, mm-hmm. in the way that and it certainly references reboots enough in here, I expected a lot more. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to give this a, a low matinee, and it's a happy low matinee. 
People have been making fun hell? of me lately. <laughs> adding happy matination. Yeah. <laughs> there's a low matinee I enjoyed, but ultimately... I, I give it a seven Ultimately, a there's so much to criti- criticize here. I mean, just, I mean, uh, hell, Nev Campbell alone, who you could... Re- you could Nev Campbell, Courtney, uh, Courtney Cox, and David Arquette, you could rewrite this movie with very few changes... And just not have them be in it at all. Oh, and, really? And, yeah, okay. Oh, I, 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 see, I, I was, disagree. I was agreeing with everything you said up until. I no, really they strongly walk through this entire film. I strongly and disagree. And you could change it to yeah. other characters, and it wouldn't really matter. If I it disagree. Was them or some other character. I disagree. I don't know. Courtney Cox seemed like she was totally thrown into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of sad to see her all collagen and Botoxed up because mm-hmm. I, I was like, damn, I almost don't recognize yeah. her. The, yeah. the, the way her face is yeah. like, it's impossible for her to, to smile. And it's yeah. like, I'm sure she's happy at times. Yeah. She's just those muscles you are. never know. It, it, so yeah. atrophy. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, is it me or do you kind of sympathize with the original cast in a way to where yeah. it's like, you know what? You kind of had your time, and now it's gone, but it's like you're trying to get that back because the movie almost takes on a whole other meaning in a weird way while watching it that it actually made me invest more in the original characters and, and especially Nev Campbell's character. I mean, I thought I thought they did a great job with her just being like the Nancy of the Freddy Krueger series. Right. I thought this is the first time where I'm like, wow, I really am rooting for her. as much as I was rooting for uh, Nancy in Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, I mean, which is what you want when you see a character come back who's experienced this, has gone through hell with this and it's just you know she's just basically going fuck you i know how to handle you and i'm gonna do the best way i can was, even though i have a pillion of people around me fucking up that was the only yeah. thing i liked about her though was the mm-hmm. fact that they had her you know not going into panic mode she's mm-hmm. like yeah i'll deal with this and, mm-hmm. and she's like immediately beating the crap out of Ghostface. oh yeah and i just felt they didn't take that joke far enough it was uh-huh. like true wouldn't you yeah. have be a black belt in three forms of martial arts <laughs> yeah, by now right? i mean come on. <laughs> who wouldn't have yeah. done that after well, three mm-hmm. times now, being now, sorry, we, we got off to picking it apart because because <laughs> as far as that goes why wouldn't she have a gun yeah. It, mm-hmm. it made no sense that her character mm-hmm. would not have a gun. I mean, yeah. She's like Batman. She doesn't believe him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it's one of these movies where you go like, like normally there's that like, oh, this you couldn't have this movie with black people. I'm like, you couldn't have this movie in Texas because mm-hmm. he would have been shot six ways from Sunday. Oh, sure, certainly. <laughs> Everybody would have been packing. It, Everyone it, it, in that <laughs> entire town would have shot guns yeah. and pistols <laughs> and grenades. And... We, we would have we would have pulled a, a predator scene <laughs> just mowing it, just tearing down the rainforest. Well, the problem, of course, everyone in this movie does have a gun, can't <laughs> hold on to it for more than <laughs> yeah, two seconds. True. So well, yeah, they, 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 they must have got issued like four guns in the entire yeah. town and everybody has to take turns picking it up once yeah. a week. It's Butterfingers, <laughs> Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, you, you uh, yeah, what was your rating? But, but yeah, yeah. In, in, in spite of uh, all the of, all different things to, to say about it and pick it apart, uh, you know, I did find it to be fun. It was, it was entertaining. I got into it. The jokes when they didn't overdo them they 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 were good. I I like the meta ness of it. The the fact that they talk things out and yeah the the uh, the ending the motivation the the reveal kind of on the preposterous side. Yeah. At the same time, it fits within what these movies do all mm-hmm. the time. It was one of these way like like all these things I'd like to complain about. It's like look if I start here, I would have to go back twenty years doing it, and I'm just not going to do that. I can just look at it for the fun I had with it. I didn't see it the midnight. I wish I had. I went mm-hmm. at ten in the morning. So oh, it was geez. maybe not the best time to see <laughs> yeah. any horror film. <laughs> but but there was there was still there were there were people there. Screaming babies. We still having <laughs> we still having a good time. No, 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 no screaming babies. <laughs> that would have gotten you. But we're still having a good time. It's you know, it's not a film I can recommend to everybody, but it's a better sequel to the first scream than any of the others were. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Uh and I and I did like um the, the, the old cast, you know, it co hosts you're right. It's mm-hmm. it's it's like good to see him in there and kinda sad too. Mm-hmm. But to realize like the torch has been passed and you guys you just can't do it again. And, <laughs> yeah. and I don't know what else you're going to do other than this. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show everyone there's a reason for me to be in the next two sequels after this. <laughs> right. Uh, but all that said, I give it I give it a matinee. A, yeah. a, a, a good matinee. Okay, well, a happy matinee? You know what? I, 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 actually, you know what, I, I go Keep so far as to give it a high matinee. <laughs> just, just, just from the entertainment value of it. An enthusiastic matinee. <laughs> let's, let's, no, let's just a matinee. Push it. <laughs> I'm just having fun confusing just, the fans. <laughs> Wait, I've been, trying, I've been yeah. making my system yeah. of like gauging what your reviews are on a number yeah. scale and what is this new enthusiasm? Enthusiastic thing. <laughs> God damn it! I get it. Yes. <laughs> if you give it a sad matinee. But, 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 but co host, what's your I rating? I give it a uh, retarded full price. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, being just being a slasher fan and uh, of this entire just, uh, this entire slasher genre, um, I. I, I it was happy once again to see. Wow, okay, they're making this fun. Uh, they're making this work, and 
the audience, it, you know something's working when you just you can tell that audience who is there dying to see a movie are really into it. Despite the fact some people want to argue, ah, you know, they're there, they scream and laugh, whatever, regardless. No, I, th- I think with horror fans, uh, they are very picky. Because, I mean, I've seen plenty of sequels where they go in and horror fans are there bright and early in the morning or, or they're at the midnight screening and they walk out pissed when a movie, a sequel, does not satisfy. Well, they are fucking... I'm they, curious, what was the last yeah. time you... You, what was the last one you went to where the audience was pissed? Oh, we're super pissed. It was uh, Friday. It was the uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, Jason goes to hell. Oh, okay. people That's a walked. Long time yeah, ago. yeah. That was that was the most people were. There's there's two guys in wheelchairs going. <laughs> Fighting that each other. fucking sucked. Yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, fair, that was some though, fucking was bullshit. No. Such an extreme <laughs> far oh. end of suck. Oh. And it's almost not fair oh. to even bring it up. No, no. People <laughs> were wearing pe- people were wearing uh, Friday the Thirteenth t shirts. People were yeah. bringing like their fucking plastic machetes. The theater, it was on a geek level of Star Wars. The but, theater I saw with the screen was all like sixteen year old girls who I surprised they even mm-hmm. saw the movie says they spent it all yeah. curled up in balls with their hands oh, over their head. I, I had a, a front row of girls who a little while I, I, I was waiting to fucking like I wanted to pull out a chainsaw and like just slice through their heads because <laughs> everyone kept going whenever there was any new character introduced that's the killer that's the killer oh that is the killer <laughs> see you should have put the ghost face <laughs> yeah. mask on and killed them and, and, and you gotten away because people would have thought like oh the theater yeah. they, they put on a production yeah. that's nice why do so, I feel like someday in court we're gonna hear the recording of that one <laughs> <No, laughs> <laughs> would have stabbed him in the ass and turned him into a popsicle but uh but yeah uh it, it was a fully satisfying experience and the movie was was really satisfying as far as what a sequel should do i mean honestly this should be the sequel to the first film right. this is a movie that actually made me want to go back and revisit the original and also i had a little bit more respect for this whole ghost face killer which i never really uh, the fact that it doesn't really have any real mythology it could be anyone i never really cared about it as much as i did like the freddy cougar or the leather faces um and this movie actually made me go you know what this is actually kind of a a, a cool idea if only i can have a movie where somebody is finally established as the ghost somebody who comes back from the dead to i i Call me cliche, but I want that. I want that in the series now. Cliche. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> cliche. Join no. with Leon and point the finger at you <laughs> and make a Donald Sutherland face. I want it. I want it. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm, go- I'm I'm actually, I, I have to give it a full price. I mean, a full wow. on full price. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd actually like to go see it again with a bunch of friends who were who just just like Great so fans. so about. Yeah, well, screen, fans of the original. Yeah. But with this movie coming out, I, I still have, I have some friends who are like really skeptical about it because they're just like, eh, it's another number four. Who gives a shit? And I'm like, no, I, I, you need to see it. You know? Wow. So, full need price. Need to see it. Yeah. yeah. That's a need to see it full price. Yeah. Yeah. Need to <laughs> see <up>. it. <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun why, with this. Why do you have to I'm going to get as mu- you- much mileage out of this as co host wants to get out of the <laughs> totally dead slasher shop. <laughs> God damn. Speaking, speaking you of, have to twist it all. See what you were saying though. There was something uh, you said, Ghostface Killer. Now, isn't that the name of a rap star though? <laughs> That's just how I say killer. <laughs> that's, that's, yes, there is a rapper he, he like that. ER. But I just, I, yeah, after after he introduced it, I was like, you know what? It should be spelled in the dictionary. Yeah. K-I-L-L-A. So which came, which came first, Ghostface or Ghostface Killer? Uh, Ghostface. Actually, the screen by Alphonse Munch. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's another thing about this character, though. It's like, man, couldn't they be a little bit more creative? I mean, it's they took a mess that already existed, and, yeah. but that was my one of my problems with first one. Yeah. That's a whole nother show. We'll do that later. Coming soon, the <laughs> third Scream 4 review. Yeah. <laughs> Modern audiences have become savvy to the rules of the originals. Uh, I mean, there are still rules, but the rules have changed. And the kill's got to be, like, way more extreme. <laughs> the unexpected is the new cliche. And virgins can die now. <laughs> to be the new version, you know, 2.0. The killer should be filming the murders. That's yeah, a natural next step in psycho slasher innovation. Go ahead if you have the guts. Well, it's time for someone new to die.